Hello everybody and welcome to Karamari Hospital, or Karamari Hospital, however you're meant to pronounce it. It's the first DLC for Spooky's House of Jump Scares, and it's actually the first time you have to pay for Spooky's House of Jump Scares content. Uh, so the original game was completely free, but this DLC I think cost me $3.99, so it's roughly $5 in America I would think. It looks pretty interesting and it looks very fun, but I've been told it's quite short, so I'm not sure if this is going to be a single video thing or the start of a series or what really, so I guess we'll find out as we proceed. If you're not familiar with Spooky Sounds of Jump Scares, then check the description down below because I'll leave a playlist link for my own little playthrough, as well as a download link for the actual game if you want to play it yourself, because let's face it, it's free, why not? Okay, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, let me know, leave me a like, a comment, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Here we go, new game. Oh, water fountain saved the game, that's good to know. So I think in this case, yeah, we're starting off at room 995. Um, I guess we're not gonna go through the original Spooky's House of Jump Scares ending. Oh, bloody hell, look at that. Ooh, okay, so these, these aren't save points anymore, right? Right, okay, well, let's go down. Yeah, so I guess this is going to be so, sort of like an alternate ending to the game or something. <laughs> Look at that room counter. 1,300, 400, 500, 600. <laughs> it's just given up now. <laughs> it gave up and went home. Alright. Have we just hit the center of the earth or something? Let's find out, I suppose. All right, back in the game. Have I, uh, yep, I've still got the axe, so I can defend myself. That's good. No room counter. No, it, it hasn't come back, so maybe we're not doing the rooms anymore. I don't know. I guess I just don't know which room I'm in. And nor does the game. Weird, though. Okay. Well, I'm going to be sort of listening out for all the sinister sounds of the monsters from Spooky's House of Jump Scares, because you never know. Some of them might have just followed me down. So it's probably best I keep on my toes. Get ready to run. Uh, this way? Okay, locked. Interesting. Uh, is this locked too? No, okay. What's going on then? No monsters yet. No jump scares yet. Oh, hello. Hell you got all the way down here. I didn't even remember there were rooms down here. Well, good luck. Oh, what? <laughs> Where did you go? No advice or anything? No? Alright, just, just good luck, I suppose. Oh, that's all I needed in the past. So I can still run, uses up my stamina and everything. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to remember if I've been through these sort of rooms before. I think they're kind of unique. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, okay, well, we made it to Karamari Hospital anyway. That's That's the main thing, I suppose. So, this is probably where we're going to get introduced to a monster, so I'm going to keep on my toes, definitely. Oh, there's the water fountain. So, yeah, that's how I save. That's good. Okay, I might be abusing that. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's try the restroom first. Women, men. Uh, is there a jump? I don't think there is, or, or a crouch or anything, so. We're not going to the women's. Let's just go to the men's. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah, flush that down. And that one. Is this out of order? Oh, and here's the blood. Ooh, you need to see a doctor, mate. I suppose he's in the right place. Out of order? Yeah, broken. Nothing in the toilet? No keys or anything like that? Okay. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Um, nothing in the sinks at all. No? Alright. Just thought it was worth a look, really. Okay, then. Let's... See about maybe I throw a door behind the reception area. Is there anything on the reception desk? On the chair? No? Okay, what about this one over here then? This door. That's locked. Well I'm hoping that this isn't then. Here we are. Okay, hospital corridor. Or hospital hallway number one. Let's try this door here. Okay. Uh yeah, the patient's room, that makes sense. They got their own TV and little ensuite, I think, which I can't go into. The woods never forget, so neither should you. What does that mean? Okay, I don't think there's anything to find in here, so let's move on. I guess across the hallway to the next room. Oh, it's broken. Alright. Um, this one? Okay. 
place to sit down. Nothing on the chairs, nothing on the bed. Nothing on television, of course. And I can't go in the, uh, the bathroom again. Alright. Hmm. Well, let's try this door. Broken. What's that over there? Stairs. Right. Joint pain? God, it's so hard to read these things. I think it says, be afraid it causes cancer. Be afraid about it. <laughs> or something like that, I don't know. Uh, right, let's try this room here. Hey. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, hang on. We have a note. From Dr. Hamada, an oncologist. The patient has displayed increased depression after being informed of their terminal disease. I prescribed an antidepressant to regulate this, but was later told that I had cancelled the prescription. I have no memory of cancelling the meds, nor can I find any evidence that my orders were tampered with. Strange. Strange. Okay. Nothing over there? Alright. I still can't go in. No. Hmm. Usually in Spooky Sounds of Jump Scares, the game's kind of like paying a, you know, an homage to, to something, to some sort of game series. I'm wondering what it might be this time. Okay, looks like we can go down to like the basement level or something. I'm going to save that for later. There's a couple more rooms over here, so let's try this one here. I don't know. Hospital? I'm thinking Silent Hill, but I probably shouldn't be. The pain is just a product of your broken mind. That might be true. Okay, no notes, no keys, no items, no nothing. Alright, we're leaving. One more room. And then there might be another corridor, actually, after that. Oh, what's this? Don't bother the doctors, they've got enough blood on their hands. Deal with it yourself. <laughs> I do like the sense of humour in this game. Alright, uh, well, let's try this door here. Which is electronically sealed. Alright. It's not just broken, it's not just locked. Electronically sealed. Okay, well, we're going down the stairs then. Maybe I can fiddle around with the electronics or something. Wow. Bloody echoey in here, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> There's an enemy down here somewhere, surely. This is, uh... This isn't right. Um, let's go this way to start with, maybe. Oh my goodness, what is that? What the hell? Can I chop my way through that? Can I go around it? Do I even approach it? Shit. Okay, yep. Yeah, I, I can't go around it. I can't crouch, so I can't go under it. It's blocking my way for some reason. That's that's fine. I'm just going to leave it where it is. Uh, let's try this door here. Broken. Broken again. Okay. What's this? Maintenance room? Break room? And uh, a broken room, apparently. Well, let's try the maintenance room. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Well, let's try the break room. What's that glinting on the chair over there? Oh, it is a key! For... Okay, for an office. Could that be the door behind the reception? I'm thinking that could be it. There's something on the table over here too. It's another note from Nurse Tanaka this time. It seems to be a Japanese theme. Maybe it is Silent Hill, or I don't know. Please point out the references if you, were, you can identify them. I'm sure people can. Uh, it seems we are losing patients due to surgical complications much more often than normal. What have the doctors been doing? Half of these procedures seem completely unnecessary. I know the doctors and surgeons are above me and probably know many things I don't, but this is getting strange. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Okay. Okay. So, um, we've eliminated all the other possibilities. I think we need to go back to... Yeah, back to reception, possibly. Probably not a bad idea. I guess I could save up there, right? Like that water fountain. That's electronically sealed. All the other ones were broken rather than locked, I'm pretty sure. Does it work? It does! Okay, well, let me just save then. Brilliant. Hopefully I don't get punished for saving too much or something, because I am going to abuse that, I think, if I keep coming back to this room. Okay, another, another hallway. Let's try this room, which is broken. I'm sensing a pattern here. Oh, here we go. Well, it's an office. Remember... Uh, <laughs> trying to find the perfect perspective to actually read this. Wash your hands, dispose of materials, clean your workspaces, pay attention to the client, work hard and have a nice day. Okay, well that's good. There you go. Not a bad little poster there, really. Nothing in that office, though. A little bit bare, isn't it? Uh, what about this one at the end? 
Oh, okay, not so much of an office as a, a, a way to the exit, possibly. That's not going to work, is it? <laughs> nope, didn't think it would. Uh, let's go back into the corridor to start off with, then I'll explore that little area. Okay, another office. Ah, another note, too. Dr. Tachigi this time, a hepatologist. I was just informed that the procedure to extract the patient's liver became fatal. I, I don't know why. Why did I take his liver? There are no donation requests, and he was showing signs of improvement. The surgical staff told me I personally demanded the liver be removed for emergency transplant. And the worst thing is, I found it. I found his liver. His entire liver. Just sitting on my desk. Well, it, it sounds to me like something or someone is manipul- Oh, hang on. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> it sounds like something's trying to manipulate all the, the medical staff here. Weird. Anyway, the maintenance room key, so I'll be going back down there in a moment. What about this room here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's demonic. Lovely. All right. Anything here? What's that? An appreciation for... It looks like something fits inside. Okay. An appreciation for uh, outstanding service, Karamari Hospital. Yep. Board of Directors. <laughs> I'm sure that, was, that award was given before. Uh, lungs and livers turned up missing and everything. Okay. Moving on to the next room. This one here. Okay. Oh, and another note. Uh, Dr. Hamada again, the oncologist. It seems the other me has been giving him large doses of hallucinogenics. They have worsened the depression. He is now constantly screaming and expressing terror at seemingly random intervals. I've tried using the dialysis machine to remove some of the drugs, but it seems futile. Again, he was, I think he's in, he was controlled by something, or someone. Okay. Right. So, let's leave this area. Let's, uh, let's go right to the end of the corridor and go into the little waiting room or something, or whatever it's meant to be. So the exit doesn't work. What about here? Okay, these double doors are broken. They're not sealed electronically or anything. That's a note. That's a note. Nurse Tanaka, 405. Okay, I blacked out today while driving to work. One minute I was driving down the road, and then in an instant I was standing outside my car, staring down at a dead cat. I must have hit it with my car and felt sorry. The image of the dead cat has constantly unnerved me today. How did I manage to hit it in such a way to make the body completely twisted around like that? <laughs> Maybe it's the revenge of the dead cat. Maybe that's what Karamari Hospital is all about. I doubt it, but uh, I don't know. I guess she didn't hit it with her car. Maybe she probably got out and strangled it and ripped it to pieces or something. I don't know. Electronically sealed. Is it the same door on the other side? Might be. Um, okay. Again, no more possibilities. We're going to have to go back downstairs to the sort of basement level and go to the maintenance room. But before I do that, of course, I'm going to save. You never know what's lurking around the corners in a, in a place like this. So, yep, straight ahead of me. Stairs down... It's so quiet here. Very abnormal. Right, I'm just going to check. Is this thing still here? Yep, okay. <laughs> well, that's fine then. Let's check out this room here. Unlocked. Brilliant. Oh. Oh, it's the sound of the generator. I see. <laughs> I thought that might have been like a, another monster sound. Oh, what, what did I do? It won't turn back on. Oh, I turned it off. Smart. Actually, that's kind of smart, because that means I can probably get through the electronically sealed doors. Is that where I'm due to go next? Maybe. Again, just a little check. Still there. Okay. Okay. Right, up the stairs, up the stairs. Everything's got this red tint now. I guess it's because it's dark. Weird. Alright, so... I think it was these double doors over here. These were the ones that were locked. Not anymore! And it didn't lead to the other place. Okay, so this is new. But, whoa! <laughs> what are you? What big hands you have! Why is that familiar to me? Seriously, it's like on the tip of my tongue, like the, the game that this is all referencing, but I can't figure out what it is. I don't think it's bloody hell. No, I don't think it's bloody hell. I don't think it's Silent Hill exactly. Maybe there's some influences or something, but... What happened here? This is where all the, the missing organs have been going missing, perhaps. 
Okay. Oh, no, he's, <laughs> he's moving. Oh, Christ. He's moving slowly, though, thankfully. Uh, might just be able to run around him, yeah? We've got stairs. Okay. Stairs. It works. We can go down again. But not yet. Can he come through doors? Let's not stick around and find out. Let's go... Here? Right. It works. What the hell? Oh, whoa. I... I don't know what to make of this. I'm not familiar with this at all. What the fuck? Can I, can I use this bed or something? No. I'm lost. I don't know how to help him. I, I, I don't even know what it is. Right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, there he is. Broken. Okay, okay, okay. In here. Another bloody room. Here we go. Dr. Kanagawa, the hematologist. The patient did not recover from the blood loss. I feel that there is a monster inside my head and it's pushing me away while it works on something. I woke up in the patient's room standing over him while an arterial catheter was in the patient, letting him just bleed onto the floor. Lovely! Yeah, there's something so... disgusting going on here. It's like some sort of revenge against the hospital. Maybe that guy was so badly treated, I don't know. Ugh. Um, couple, couple more rooms then. Let's try this one. Yeah, bloody bed seems to be a, a staple in this part of the hospital. All sorts of x-rays. And I can never seem to get into the bathrooms for some reason. It's like it's been wallpapered over, actually. Weird. Okay, one last room, I think. Which is broken. Okay, what about these doors? Ah! Oh, right, this is the exit. Right. They weren't there before, were they? I don't think. Oh, well, maybe they were. I don't know. Has the note changed? No, it hasn't. Okay. <laughs> is the exit door unlocked? No, it hasn't. Okay. Broken. Well, um, I think we're going to have to go back, aren't we? We're going to go back. We're going to go down the stairs. Where is this guy with the big hands? There he is. You have, like, loaves of bread for hands. What the hell is up with that? Just look at it. I don't know. A blistered someone really needs to pop, maybe. Back down to the basement. So where are we? Different basement? Oh, oh no, no! Oh, we're on the other side of this! I get it, I get it, okay. That's still a bit weird how I can't go around that. It really doesn't seem to take up too much of the corridor. Oh, the morgue! Perfect place. Let's, uh, let's try the left morgue. Okay, body bags. Not surprising, really. Can I interact with them? I prefer not to, but I feel I have to try. I don't think so. Chop them up into pieces? Nope. Alright. I guess there's two doors to this room, at least. Nothing. No oh, hang on. No, there is something. It, what is that? A metal... What the fuck? Metal emblem. Maybe that's what fits on that weird placard for, like, excellent service upstairs in the office. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Uh, where did all the body bags go? I just noticed that. Okay, well, let's go out this door. Alright, let's not. Uh, really? Oh, okay. Here <laughs> come the jump scares, I suppose. Here are the body bags, too. That's where they ended up. Oh. Oh, is it that guy again? <laughs> ah, it's not working! Why isn't it not working? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I really can't see! Go, 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 go! Go! Wait. Okay. This is the room I intended to come back to after leaving the morgue. Is he still chasing me? I, I guess not. Let's try the right morgue out then. Whew. Oh, we got body bags in here. For the time being, at the least. Huh. Okay. Oh, a note! Tanaka again. Something sinister is beating on the wall of my subconscious, beating like a war drum motioning me to march down into hell. Christ, this is serious. 
I have a feeling that half of these body bags weren't meant to be here. Can I use that? Oh, I can! A acid? Acid? Okay. Fine. Um. Interesting. Oh, we have another room at the end. The isolation room. Locked. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Let's see what we can do about this then. I'm going... You know what? I'm going to go back up the stairs. I'm going to go to the offices. And I am going to try and put that emblem on the placard. On the wall. I think that's that's got to be where it's going. <laughs> uh, actually, it's a good thing he's there. I think there's a shortcut this way, isn't there? Yeah. This way's the offices. Yeah. Which one was it, though? This one? I think it was one of the ones on the right. I think... I've read this, haven't I? Yes. Yes. Uh, this one here? There it is. Right. And there it goes. Oh, check this out. Oh, hey, a secret wall, secret doorway, secret staircase. Okay, all right. Tell you what, before I'm going, before I'm going to go down there, I am going to save again. If the drinking fountain's still around, I hope it is. This, this seems like a pretty safe room, actually. There we are. Okay, game saved. Good to know. So, yep, through here, and now down the stairs. Actually, you know what? This is going on for a little while, so maybe I'm going to split this up into a few parts. Thank you very much for watching this first part of Karamari Hospital. I hope to see you back in part two very soon. See you then. Welcome back. What? Ah, oh, what? <laughs> Where did you go? No advice or anything? Oh, that's demonic. Lovely. Unlocked. Brilliant. Oh. Oh, it's the sound of the generator, I see. So, this is new. But, whoa. <laughs> what are you? Here? Right. It works. What the hell? Uh. Where did all the body bags go? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Here come the jump scares, I suppose. Oh. Oh, is it that guy again? Ah, it's not working. Why isn't it not working? Fuck. 